Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Cody Carpenter here back with another video. And in the previous video, I covered how to create a direct linking campaign for Bing ads with uh, volume tracking. And if you wanna, if you haven't seen that video, you can click that I button up there and go watch that. And then in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a lander into your volume account. And then in the video after this, I'll show you how to create a campaign with a landing page and then sending them to the offer. Um, so with that being said, let's uh, dive on in. So I can come over here to the landers tab and there's no landers here right now because this is a direct linking campaign, the one that we just created. But before I add a new lander, I'll show you, I just made a test landing page. I just used the default template and I got the domain right here, volume test lander V1. So then once you have your lander ready to go, just come over to volume, click new lander and uh, just type it in and I'll do test landing page V1. Um, I won't do any tags and then I can just come right over here and paste in the lander URL. So that's good to go, number of call to actions. So what this means is how many offers are you gonna have on the landing page? So if I was running like a listicle style thing where I have five offers on one landing page, I'd come over here and click five, and then you'd have to have five of these click URLs. But in this case, we only have one. So then what you have to do is add this um, click URL to your call to action button. So I'm gonna come and edit this landing page. And then all your call to action buttons, they have to have this uh, click, this uh, your volume click URL. So just paste that in and mine is this right here. And again, if I was running offers that had like three offers on one page, I'd go like that, forward slash one. Then on the second offer, I'd go two. On the third offer, I'd go three. But for this, there's only one offer, so it's just forward slash click. And then you'd go to all your call to action buttons and add in that special link. So for this example, there's two order now buttons. Okay, so it's saved and we're all good to go. And then there's an option to track without redirects, but we won't do that because um, redirecting is fine with Bing ads. Um, to do this, you would just click on and then you'd have to add this to your the header of your landing page, which is very simple. Um, then you can verify your landing page. So basically they just uh, test this landing page and see if they can find that click URL, which we already we already inserted, so it's good. And that's as simple as it gets for adding in a landing page to volume. You, a lot of people make the mistake of not adding their click URLs to the landing page. And it's just, you absolutely have to do that. Otherwise you'll get errors when you create your campaign. So that is it for this quick little video. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create a campaign with your landing page and insert that tracking link into your Bing ads um, tracking template section. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.